Okay, let's talk about equation problems. And if you master this tip that I'm going to get into here in a second, you're going to dramatically increase your chances of getting those uh, A pluses and 100% on your test and quizzes. Of course, there is no such thing as uh, like a 100 perfect like hack, you know, shortcut, you know, where you don't actually have to learn, you know, and just cheat your way through the system without knowing some math in order to get these problems right. So if you're looking for some uh, super cool, crazy, you know, uh, system, uh, this video is not for you. But if you're looking for a super powerful math tip, that if you keep this in mind, you're going to dramatically save yourself a lot of pain, um, you know, in terms of your math scores. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, before we get started, actually, though, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabit Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and I have uh, very comprehensive uh, math courses and math programs. So if you're interested in learning from my full math programs, I'm going to leave a link uh, to my site in the description of this video. Of course, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I've been on YouTube for several years, have hundreds of math videos I'm posting all the time. So hopefully you'll uh, consider subscribing. And if this video helps you out anyway, definitely give it a thumbs up. All right, so let's get into this. Um, so now for some of you, this might just be like something you already knew, okay? But I suspect that many of you out there, maybe even though you might know what I'm gonna get into, you forget about it uh, when you are taking a test or a quiz. So really the whole focus of what I'm gonna talk about here is really test taking, um, you know, uh, saving yourself pain, in terms of getting problems wrong. All right, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at an example. So here is an equation, right? So remember, the topic of this video is equation problems, all right? So an equation in mathematics is something that has an equal sign in it. So here is an equation, right? So if you are asked to you know, uh, solve this or give me the answers to this equation, you know, what's your choices? Well, you don't really have much choices you, you, other than you better know how to do this type of problem, right? <laughs> so you're like, oh boy, what, how do I even handle this problem? But, you know, a lot of you are there. oh yeah, this is a quadratic equation. Uh, I know how to do this. Let me go ahead and factor it. Okay, so I'm just, again, using this equation here as an example to uh, illustrate my bigger point here in a second. Okay, but here, if you don't have, you know, you know, anything else other than, hey, give me the answers to this equation, you're going to have to know how to solve it, right? So the way you would approach this, you would try to first factor it. Hey, I can factor it. So this is 2x plus 1, or 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is equal to uh, the factors 2x plus 1 uh, times x minus 3. And then here I can set each of these fact factors equal to 0. So 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. x minus 3 is equal to 0 and I can solve for x in those respective little equations, and I get x is equal to uh, negative 1 half. That's one of my uh, solutions. And then over here, I have my second x solution, x is equal to 3. So um, here, in the beginning of this problem, this particular equation is a quadratic equation. It means it's going to be two solutions, okay? So we just found the two solutions. Now, hopefully, these solutions are correct, okay? We're like, okay, I know, what, I know what to do, and you're doing a bunch of work, and you got some answers, okay? So that's pretty good, okay? Now, how do you know that these answers are right? So my first point is this. Anytime you solve an equation problem, okay, you can always check to see if you got the right answers. Now, how do you do that? Well, you simply just plug in your solutions into the equation, okay? So let's go ahead and check these answers. Let's just check x uh, equals 3. Remember, this is our two solutions. Let's just check this one here, x equals 3. How do I check a solution? Well, you check a solution by plugging that value for the variable um, back into the original equation. So here we had 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Let's go ahead and plug in 3. Now, when you plug in values, make sure you use parentheses, and you're very, very careful here. So this is going to be 2 times 3 squared 
minus five times three minus three. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm checking to see if x equals three is actually a correct answer, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and just uh, follow the order of operations here. So three squared, remember, you gotta do powers before multiplication, so this is going to be nine. Three squared is nine, so that's gonna be two times nine, and this is gonna be mi minus five times three, which is 15 minus three, and then two times nine is 18. So I have 18, right? So this is 18 minus this right here. This is 15. Uh, 15 minus three is negative 18. And then two times nine is 18. So you can kind of see the math here, just kind of uh, wrote it all out. So 18 minus 18 is what? It's zero, okay? So when I plugged in three on the left-hand side of the equation and I simplified down, I got zero on the left. And we're checking to see if that's going to be equal to the zero on the right, all right? In this case, in fact, it is, right? So the left-hand side does, in fact, equal the right-hand side. Okay, when I plugged in three and I did everything else, I got zero is equal to zero. So because it balanced out and it created what we call a true statement, three is, in fact, a solution, okay? So that's a good answer, right? And this is very, very important. Now, a lot of students... Uh, understandably so, you just don't have enough time normally on some of your tests that you might take to check every single answer, okay? But as you get better in math, you can kind of do kind of, you know, quick checks with your calculator or just, there'll be some values that are just way like obvious, like, you know, uh, that are just totally going to be incorrect, okay? So I'm going to go into, I'm going to illustrate this now, okay? So the first thing is this, you can always with equation problems, check your solutions to verify whether they're um, they are correct or not. Okay, of course you got to do this math correctly, but you can always check to see if you have the answers that you did get are right. Okay, but this comes in super handy in multiple choice tests. Now I just can't tell you how much this just would frustrate me. You know, uh, when I see students work on tests or final exams, or, you know, of course, other type of tests like SAT, ACT, GED, doesn't make a test, uh, make a difference. Um, teacher certification exams, there's a ton of tests out there that are, are, you know, have math in them, and they're equation problems, and they're multiple choice. When these are like, give me, these are like absolutely 100%, you should never, ever get wrong, Okay. Well, no, why? Because you can plug in these values and check to see which one uh, is correct. So let's just quickly kind of um, do something here. Let's say, all right, you're looking at your choices. Now, if you notice, this is the same uh, problem that we had uh, that we were working with, right? So we know that X equals three, B here is going to be our answer, right? So we already checked that. Um, so this is, you know, you might see this kind of uh, problem as a multiple choice problem, right? So it's so here, just saying, hey, pick the right answer. It's almost like, hey, do you know how to check solutions into an equation? Even if you didn't know how to do this, you can just plug these in to see which one works. But let's take a look at C here, x equals zero, right? Let's just look how easy some of these would be to check. You're like, oh, okay, zero. So that's going to be two times zero squared minus five times zero minus three. Is that equal to zero? Well, you can see here, this is going to be zero. This is going to be zero. So no way this is going to be zero minus zero. So negative three is not equal to zero. Okay, there's just no way. So you can just be like, ah, that's not, that's not one. Okay, so you can then, then you can kind of jump over here to this negative 100. And when you square that, that's going to be a huge uh, number. And you're like, okay, when you find the differences of these guys, no way is that going to construct a zero. So as you get better at checking values, you'll be able to quickly eliminate. You're like, oh no, that's not going to make sense. This is definitely uh, not it. And then you can spend your time, you know, with the two candidates that are going to be closer um, uh, to your answer. And if you do your math right, let's say, let's say you didn't start with B. Okay. We just uh, quickly eliminated C and D. And let's say you started with A, okay, didn't, you know, you were checking your work, but this didn't come out to be correct, all right, then obviously your default answer, your remain, your, your uh, last choice is B, so you just circle that and move on your merry way. You don't have to, if you do everything else correctly, uh, you don't have like none of the above as an option, then you're going to get that right. 
I would say that what I'm telling you here is probably, oh boy, it might be the, the number one math tip for for uh, tests and quizzes, et cetera. I mean, like the number one, okay? Because so many uh, uh, tests out there, and again, I'm talking like ACT, SAT, GED, high set, task, I can go on and on, GMAT, GRE, not all of them are open-ended. Many of them are multiple choice, okay? And many of them have equation problems uh, in them, right? And the type of equation problems, it doesn't make a difference. It could be something like, 2x to the e, or I don't know, that's like crazy here, cubed minus x equals negative 7, right? You may not even know, or let's say 7x plus 1, all right? You may be struggling, like I don't even know how to solve this, but it doesn't make a difference. If they're giving you a, b, c, d as options, all you need to, to know how to do is to check solutions by plugging things in and balancing things out. So if you got a calculator, okay, and you got some good basic math skills, you, know, right? you don't need to know how to solve these equations on multiple choice uh, uh, equation um, questions, okay? So again, really no excuse on getting many, many equation problems correct. Now, obviously, okay, you wanna couple this powerful tip that I told you with uh, by being an A-plus student, meaning that you're taking notes you know, you're doing the homework, you're asking questions, you're studying hard, you know, you're really learning how to do these problems. But let's just kind of go back here real quick to this guy. All right, so here in this problem, let me get rid of this kind of mess. The way to approach this problem, yeah, I should have uh, stressed this uh, before, but the way you would want to uh, handle this multiple choice problem is not going to try and just start solving it, right? Just because you're like, oh yeah, I know what to do. I can do like the completing square, I can factor, I can do the quadratic formula. A lot of students, they, they you know, they know their math and they're so excited to use it, they start solving it and they're like blah, 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 blah. And guess what? They're using a lot of time up and they're doing stuff that really, you know, it, they're, it's like overkill, okay? Remember, you're, you're taking a test or a quiz, you've got to be thinking in terms of time. So when you have multiple choice equation situations, that's a dead giveaway to start looking to check these solutions. That's the approach to take, okay? Um, but of course, you still need to know how to solve. Uh, and if you know how to solve this and you know how to check your solutions for equation problems, then you're going to be that top person in the class, 100%, uh, you know, you're going to have all those happy faces on your work uh, and stars, all that good stuff, right? Anyways, uh, with that being said, remember this tip. This is one of the most powerful things that I could stress to you as a math teacher for several, several, several years. It will come in handy no matter what type of um, math class you're taking or math test you're taking. Super powerful tip. Might be my number one tip, math tip of all time. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure. Um, thank you for your time, and have a great day.